Hello, fans. I'm Brad Nessler alongside my colleague, Dick Vitale. We're here to call tonight's matchup between the West Virginia Mountaineers and the Kansas Jayhawks. Dick, you've been in this situation as a coach. What do you tell your team when it looks like a mismatch on paper? I tell you what, it looks like a David versus Goliath, baby, but you never know. Could be upset city if they protect the basketball. You know what? I think it's essential they control the tempo of the game. The Jayhawks should be in for a tough one tonight, Dick. What do you see as the keys to their success? The keys are very simple, my friend. Number one, it's up to the point guard to be the leader, to control the entire tempo of the game. Second, don't give any open looks at the arc. Find the three-point shooters, baby. Thirdly, work the ball to the interior to your post players. Let them be your option number one offensively. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action and see what's in store for us. to feed the low block. Spander, pump fakes. Now the turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. With the fake, the point guard takes the pass. He shoots from the baseline. Momentary look from three-point land. He lets it go. He drains the shot. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Down inside. Here's a double team. The power forward takes the feed. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Gave it up. Now trying to feed the low block. The fake. Spander is pretty fired up and excited. Hey, Brad, I love players that play with emotion. That's why I love the college game. Stolen away. Turnover. Great job knocking the ball loose, then chasing it down. Looking for a good shot. Tries for two. That was nice. Try to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Throws it up. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. Harvey is carrying his team right now. He's getting it done out there, Brad. They'll be in trouble without him. They go into the low block. He looks at the hoop. That's why I love this game, Dick, for that reason alone. Wow, the energy is unbelievable in here. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Full house and a packed crowd, and they are into it tonight. I tell you, what emotion, what an edge for the home team. From the top of the key, sinks it. Let's take a second look. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. 
Perfectly executed. Turns it over. Pushes it up. Trying to draw some contact. Nick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. Hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. Looks at a three. Got it. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spit. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Knocks it down. He takes it away for the bucket, and he scores despite the hack. That's a seven zip run. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. We got a good one going. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. Hard foul. Steals a pass. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. And that what makes college so special, the enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. He fakes the shot. The point guard gets the ball. There they come with a double team to stop it. Top of the circle. Sinks the shot. Both teams are looking to get something going here. The power forward and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> There's the rejection. Bring it hard or don't bring it at all. Down in the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. Great play to take that to the basket. Working it around the perimeter. He dials long distance. Way off target. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. And run him right into the screen again. What did I say? Easy one. Picks off the pass. Fakes it. The frustration right there. Fake. For two. I love this guy, Hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? On the dribble, gives it up. Lobs it. The ball goes out of play. Moving it around the perimeter. Good fake. Blocked. Nice job defensively. Up and inside. Gave it up. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. On the dribble, gives it up. Pull-up jumper from way out. 
Off the rim and no good. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Oh, what a strip, Red. Nice job there by the defense, knocking the ball loose, then getting possession. Kansas have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Fast break possibility coming. Spec the layup counts and the foul. He went hard to the hoop, knowing he was going to get fouled. Look at him now, just enjoying the moment. I love the zest of the young man. Dancing with the cheerleaders. That's awesome, Brad. He steps up to the line. Cashed it in. Oh, hard screen set on the defender. Gotta love these kids, Dick. They weren't supposed to be in this ball game, and they came in very well prepared. They're playing well. I'll tell you what, they smell upset, and they came out and played with a lot of passion. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. The power forward gets the pass. Jumps in. Drops the bucket despite the harm. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crap. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Gave it up. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Deep. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. The Jayhawks have a basketball program that has a lot of history. They have a strong history, which is part of the reason why they attract talented players. They've got a shooter spotting up on the three-point line. Intercepted. Okay, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. They work the perimeter. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Looking for contact. There was no doubt about that one. That's seven unanswered. Dick, when I see those types of things, I just get chilled. It's crazy in here, Brad. And he'll kick it back outside. With anticipation defensively. They move it into the front court. With the jump hook. A commanding lead here early. They can turn it into a blow up, Brad. the perimeter nice fake goes up for two perfectly executed picked off he shoots from left of the circle he gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. Looking for a good shot. In the paint. Looking for the foul. Gets it to fall.
Moving it around the perimeter. Jumped in front to take it away. For two. What should they do here, Dick? I'd call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. He strips him clean. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're finding each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. The ball goes out of bounds. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnovers. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit sign. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. I love that. I love the sky hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. And now, why don't more guys use it? The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building. And he's going to pick up the foul and all oh, look at the look on his face. I tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. in the paint ball comes back out from the post I tell you Brad you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man they go inside and now back outside I tell you inside outside action always works he rejects it 10 seconds showing on the shot clock Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? He's got a high post flasher. Nice high post screen. Kansas have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Can we expect a little change in direction here, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if the schemes change somewhat. And he'll kick it back outside. There's a double team waiting there. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Shoots from outside. Makes it. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. around the perimeter excellent spacing that's so important to a good offensive set it's even more important to have talented guards like they have yeah that helps great defensive play anticipated well when you're an anticipator you got a chance to do well a lot of guys they're reactors if you're a reactor you're one step behind the action Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. And one too many dribbles and a steal. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Oh, 
I strip them in a basketball. I got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. The hammers at home. You can almost see that coming. They were a little bit lazy on a defensive end. Mr. Excitement with that jam. They're working around the arc. He puts up the three ball, way off target. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane, anticipating really well. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. Count it. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. <laughs> Tries for two. Great screen set up, but the shot won't go. Dumping inside. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Picked out of the air. On the dribble, gives it up. Puts it up, looking for contact. Drains it. He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And the fans here are loving the action. Wow, the energy in here is electrifying. Here's a nice face-up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face-up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. And got it from three. Let's see if the replay does that any justice. Shoots from outside. Off the rim and no good. Up and inside. Went away from the post and goes the other way. Got to take some pride on a defensive end. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. On the outside. Top of the circle. They work it around the perimeter. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Takes away the pass. Gave it up. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. From right of the circle, he shows the sweet touch. Opportunity for two for one. There's the trap. They work the perimeter. Kicks off the lazy pass. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. He throws it up from downtown, scorches the net. Looking for a good shot. Top of the circle. It sticks. At 
the end of the first half. The Jayhawks are ahead by 25. If you missed the play of the half, here's another look. Kansas came up huge on the boards in the first half. You're right, Brad. They were extremely productive on cleaning the glass. They were like the Windex man, man. They were cleaning the glass. If you control the glass, you win the ball game, baby. We always love it when underdogs play well. They didn't in the first half, Dick, and they're going to have to pull out a miracle here in the second half. You're simply saying, warm up the bus, baby. Let's get ready for the next game. Now, nah, really, you got to try to get the kids to understand possession by possession. What I would do, Brad, is play the game in segments, four-minute segments. Let's try to win each four minutes. From way outside, he's good for another score. Hands in his face anytime now, boys. He shoots from the top of the key. You betcha. Roll that replay ready, boys. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. From the top of the circle. Perfectly designed, perfectly executed, easy basket. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Basket falls despite the contact. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. The student section looks like they're having a great time. And he'll kick it back outside. They go inside and now back outside. I love that block shot, Brad. Really gives you a lot of momentum. And back they come the other way. Oh, what a high rise, a great vision. The fans love it. What a terrific play. Great diagonal pass, eye contact, and up, up, and away. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. He looks for three, way off target. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. On the dribble, gives it up. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Steals a pass. There was no doubt about that one. The Jayhawks are up by 27. Sucker out of the game, man. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. What a great steal. Defensive. It goes. The senior leader gets the hoop and the foul call. Big trip to the line. Coming up, baby. They're feeling good. The momentum is on their side, and everything is falling into place. Their body language, Dick, says it all. Hey, can you blame them, Brad? They're playing well. Sinks it. That's a nine-sip run. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. There he is, strips the ball loose. There's a high percentage shot. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops.
We get ready to bounce back into action here. And the ball goes out of bounds. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far? Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. Gave it up. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle day. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Another turnover. And we're not talking apple turnovers either. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. The ball goes out of play. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnovers. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit sign. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. I love that. Looking for a good shot. He pulls the trigger. Off the rim and no good. Great elevator man, man. That's the elevator guy. What a high riser. Look at that student body. They are going mad. They're walking right now. My goodness. Squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. He intercepts it. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. He puts it in with contact and all. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Dump it inside. He looks for the bomb. Awesome job of running his guy into the screen to get off that J. Picks off the pass. For two. Oh, yes. it away. Marries it home. Double team now. Bad angle. Stop and pop. Way off target. Kansas are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Inside outside action always works. And the ball goes out of play. 
What a play. These kids are fired up now. And if you're going to celebrate, why not celebrate with a teammate? Not celebrate too, Corn. They're, they are playing some great basketball at the moment. From the top of the key, makes the shot. He went right through that double team. Hey, let's see if they decide to double next time down. They work it around the perimeter. Jumps into the defender. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Working it around the perimeter. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Takes the pass in the paint. Coach looks on. Focused. A lot of intensity. A lot of emotion. And he scores despite the hack. move not successful Dick I did a great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn steal and again they look to run way out on top controlling the ball had a momentary look from three-point land he gets it to fall how can you not love this game and the hoopla and fanfare that goes along with it? You're right. The student sections, the bands, and the crowd are always urging their team to victory like a sixth man. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. From the top of the key, off the rim and no good. Drains the shot. Like usual, as a sea of blue in the bleachers. Well, wearing the school colors is important to them. I think it unifies everyone. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, guys, as you know, it all comes down tonight to getting the stops and executing on offense, and that's what we've seen all night long. Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. Steals the ball. Here they come now on a turnover. I sometimes wonder what it would be like to be a Skywalker. Elevating and throwing it down, Mr. Nestler. How much fun would that be? Stolen ball. The ball goes out of bounds. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. And that what makes college so special, the enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. He shoots from the top of the circle. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. On the outside, picked off. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. From right at the circle, way off target. On the dribble, gives it up. He strips him clean. Here they go, into the break. Leans in. The three balls had a better start flying, baby, because this one's almost over. We didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. And 
Godfrey pass. It draws the foul and gets the basket. He's into it. Win, baby. That's his name. I like that in a player. That's a great play. What a play. Demonstrating unbelievable skills. Now look at him. He's celebrating with the cheerleaders. Hey, I think he's missed the versatile. Play some hoop. Do a little dance. Hopkins goes to the line for the first time. He buries it. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Gave it up. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. On the dribble, gives it up. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. Nice move with a face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Takes the pass in the paint. He comes away with it. Now the turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Steals a pass. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad, some of the players told me before the game they felt their biggest key was to get the ball inside. They said, we have the personnel to score in the paint, and that's what makes us a big threat. And I think she's right about that, Richie. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times, you got a great post play. you got a chance really to win. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Strips the ball. They run it up into transition. Nice little jam right there. The one hand jam and stuff. Little showtime, little pizzazz. Get out the mustard. Pass down low. There's a drop. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. paint. That's a high post screen goes to the lane. That's one of the things I absolutely love about college basketball, Dick, the atmosphere. Listen to that roar. It's unbelievable. He takes the three. Shot goes up and in. Hey, there's just too much space. Gave it up. Dumped down inside. Nobody rotated down. Put up on top. Let's go up to the booth and review that one. Now they're working around the perimeter. Takes away the pass. Fans are pleased now, given the fact that this game is really out of reach. That's what the fans came to see. Their team win. Five points, ten points, twenty points. It doesn't matter. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. Had him in the low block, but opted against it. Steal. the bucket and in and out ball was loose but the offense got it back trying to draw some contact I'll tell you Brad what a breakdown defensively watch out the five second count is getting close Brad here's a double team 
takes it off him. Oh, what a great job transition offense. Poor job defensively. Don't get back, don't stop the ball. And they were allowed to convert, get the number game going. Dump it inside. There's a double team waiting there. the outside. Nice move with the face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brown. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. He launches a three. He knocks down another bucket dish. This kid's got skills, Brad. They work it around the perimeter. Picks off the pass. Up and inside. Jumped in front to take it away. He brought the ball back down to the floor and he stripped them. Got an open look if he wants it. From the top of the circle, gets it to fall. Trying to draw the foul. Up, easy one. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Looking for a good shot. On the dribble, gives it up. And yeah, we've got a whistle and a foul. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Is that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Jumps in, drops the bucket despite the harm. He shoots from the top of the key. Buried it. Hold on, let's see that again. Now the turnaround jumper. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show is about to start, Brad. In the paint. There they come with a double team to stop it. Looking for contact. The Mountaineers have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. Brad, he's on fire. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. High post screen. Working it around the perimeter. Look at that spacing. And now with a power move on the inside. Did a great job protecting the basketball, seals the defense off, and explodes to the basket. Ten seconds on the clock. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He tries to beat the buzzer. I tell you what a big three that was. Unbelievable. On the outside. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Oh, what a hard screen there. He shoots from left of the circle. The Jayhawks have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple.
Dick, we expected them to win. They did win. They've been impressive all year long, and they just keep rolling along. Well, they're impressive because they understand one another, and they love playing together. They are so unselfish. I think their commitment to winning is what it's all about. Win, win, and win. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. Kansas wins in an absolutely humiliating blowout. Well, they came into favorites, and they did not disappoint. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.